What is going on guys? Welcome to episode number 45 of our Cincinnati Bengals franchise and in today's episode we are taking on the Baltimore Ravens, the 3-3 three three Baltimore Ravens. Of course we sit at the very bottom of the AFC North at 2-3 and three, just coming off of our bye week. So what a time to have our bye week, right? We gotta go fix some things on offense, fix some things on defense. Our defense has been atrocious at stopping running backs. And now we get a running quarterback against Lamar Jackson. We've got Tyree Kill to worry about. We've got Nelson Aguilar to worry about. So the bye week might come in handy here for week number seven. This is a big game for us. If we can win this thing in Baltimore, that'll be huge for the confidence level of this football team to get back to 3-3 three and three and then having to go take on the Jacksonville Jaguars here a little bit later. So this episode's just going to be taking on the Ravens on Sunday. I will have you guys have a double upload so we'll take on the Jaguars and whoever we're playing in week number nine so I'll have you guys with that so we can see John Ross in the slot picking up eight yards here on the first reception of the game second and two here's a little fullback dive to Ricky Ortiz he's only gonna get about a couple he's gonna get it one yard He's gonna get one yard gain there so it's gonna be third and one and against this tough defensive line for this Baltimore Ravens team. Mixon's going to bounce it out to the left with a little juke move there, and he's going to pick up well more than the first down of what was needed. Nice gain there by Mixon. we got to get him involved and involved early. Here's a nice little drag route, crossing route to A.J. Green. So we want to get him back. He's back. He's healthy. we got to get him involved. So he wants to stay with us this year. Doesn't get all upset because we had to franchise tag and we wanted to go elsewhere in the offseason. We do get a hold here after a three-yard pickup. It's going to be second and 17 after that hold. Here's Mixon in the backfield, and he's going to pick up about nine using that power. Lower in that shoulder, he's going to get that nine-yard gain here. And on third and nine, going to Mixon, that's Devin Bush out of Michigan. Ravens picked him ahead of us, if you guys remember correctly. So he is entering his sophomore season. It's his second year in the pros. Speaking of young player, Lamar Jackson, right? third year in the NFL here in 2020 and he's definitely progressed guys we got to worry about his legs we got to worry about his big arm so it's definitely a player that we got to watch out for and key on in this matchup we see that CJ Anderson is getting involved here early he had that big first down run for the very first play of the game he's got a one yard gain for rushing and then he's going to pick up another first down on second and nine and here's Lamar Jackson thrown out there to the right and almost picked off there by Trey Weddle. So the rookie coming in, almost making a big play off the deflection. Could have happened. And then here we go, looking for Hayden Hurst. And Bernardrick McKinney is going to make that stop off the deflection. Almost had an interception for himself. Here's on third and 10. And third down is going to be a charm here on this drive, guys. Dalton with a nice throw there to Martavis Bryant on the right. Bryant in motion on third and 10 yet again. And we're going we're gonna to find Martavis Bryant again. And he's going to pick up first down yet again so we're up to the 43 yard line now four for seven for Dalton for 42 yards third and ten we got Martavis moving in motion again and here we are with a pass up the middle to John Ross and he's going to pick up about 20 yards right there so really nice throw good read by Dalton very good catch by John Ross to hold on to it because he did take kind of a shot there really did and here's a pass complete to the right on th yet again Third and 10 to Martavis Bryant. So now Dalton, 8 of 13 for 76 yards. First and goal. Looking to the end zone. We're going to find Martavis Bryant, but he's going to get stopped here at the one yard line. We're actually going to hurry up to the line. And it looks like we got some good numbers here on the offensive line, but we just can't get a good enough push to get Mixon into the end zone. So we're actually going to lose a yard. And you guys see, you guys saw that Posey, one of our picks for guard is actually in the game that's because Bo Benshaw is hurt so he is no longer in this football game and he's going to be out for an extended period of time so we are hurting on the right side of the offensive line guys but no matter because the Ravens in zone slash a little bit of man coverage there, going to leave Martavis wide open he's got a touchdown it's going to be 7 nothing here Cincinnati and on first and 10 firing out to the left to Tyreek Hill is going to go incomplete nice coverage there by Aqib Tlaib and Jesse Bates on Tyreek Hill. Nice little double team there. Third and four, so they will pick up some positive yardage. And they're going to find Michael Crabtree, but he's going to spin backwards, and he's going to go not get the first down. 
And then Justin Tucker comes on and misses this field goal. So it's still Cincinnati 7, Baltimore nothing. Here in the early going of the second quarter. Now here we, get, here we go. We got Joe Mixon taking the ball to the left. He's going to pick up about 17 right there. Here's second and 10 and a good protection. Good protection there by the O-line. So Dalton had time to throw, possibly wait that slant out a little bit longer. Just elected to throw it though right into coverage. So here's third and 10 and firing up the middle. That's Joe Mixon. Going to get positive yardage. Going to get about eight, and it's going to be fourth and two. So Adam Waldeck, the rookie kicker, is going to have to come out and make a pretty pretty big kick. Not a long kick, but it's a pretty, good, pretty big kick. It's going to get us up to double digits here now on the score. So now it's time for Lamar Jackson to respond. And, guys, he's going to respond in a big way because guess what? We fall for the play action and firing out deep to Tyreek Hill, none other than Tyreek Hill. And that is a well-placed football, guys. There was no catching up for Aqib Tlaib or Jesse Bates. Jesse Bates was actually closing in on that play and just couldn't catch up to the throw. That's a hell of a throw by Lamar Jackson. So on third and two, Joe Mixon gets his name called. It's going to be seven rushes for 48 yards for him thus far in this game. 6.32 left to go, and we're going to fire out to the right for Joe Mixon. And got, he had Martavis blocking for him, but he just juked right into him. I feel like if he would have busted out to the right, would have had more positive yardage to gain. And then we see Tyler Croft here getting the first down. And then Mixon with wide open lanes. Guy's going to take it to the left. Spin O'Rama. Misses the tackle. That's McConnell. I love it. First and 10 now. Eight rushes for 71 yards for Mixon. 72 rushing yards on the game for the Bengals. And here's a reception to A.J. Green. We're starting to threaten here, guys. 10 to 7. Little play action pass. Nothing is open, but leave it to Andy Dalton to lob it when you're asking him to fire it and bullet it in there in the back of the end zone. Throw it high. Throw it high and bullet it. It's going to be picked off by Devin Bush in the end zone. So it's going to give Baltimore the football back, and they are going to grind the clock down to about two minutes left to go. So we're up against it here in the two-minute warning. Pressure. And Lamar Jackson is going to have that ball go incomplete. Minute 57 left to go. And Jackson is going to fire out to the right. And a flag is thrown. But it was a good read on defense by the defensive backs over there to deflect that pass. But it's actually going to be a holding call. So Marvin Lewis elects to accept the penalty call. And instead of having it third and 10, it's going to go back to second and 20. So they're going to give him two extra downs to get the first down. And here's Nelson Aguilar going to get about... 13 he gets 13 it's gonna be third and seven and firing it out over there to michael crabtree and nothing happening and then tucker's gonna come on and kick that field goal so with a minute 27 left to go guys the game is now tied and the Bengals, we're not done we gotta shoot for the end zone here we are trying to get some big plays and look at john ross mr big play himself jukes and a missed tackle and guys john ross is gone touchdown Bengals gonna be 17 to 10 now after that 75 yard score and what a throw what a throw he was wide open so I guess Andy Dalton just made the right read thankfully <laughs> thankfully Jake Juan Johnson misses the tackle here on CJ Anderson but a face mask on Sean Williams with 44 seconds left guys is gonna push Baltimore up past the 50 yard line and that sucks because if they get a field goal out of this, it's going to cut that touchdown down, and we just don't want to give him. We don't want to give him any more points, guys. We we can't afford the way our defense has been playing for the last I don't know six weeks. We can't afford to start giving points up to the Ravens here. And here's a pass actually intercepted by Jaquan Johnson, the one-year pro out of Miami University. Awesome job. So the Hurricane, the former Hurricane. Picks off Lamar Jackson. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. I know they played a lot against each other in the ACC. So good job there by Jaquan Johnson in the defense for the Bengals. And then now with the football back here, about seven minutes, we're going to jump ahead into the third quarter. Six minutes to go here. And Dalton facing some pressure. Gets it off to Martavis Bryant. And uh, A.J. Green, you missed the block, man. If he would have sprung that block, Martavis had a score right there. So that's unfortunate, but we are going to go back to A.J. Green. He's going to actually get down at the 
one yard line. I think if all things you consider it, he was over it. He was he was over that line. But we're gonna hurry up to the line because I don't think that they are in good formation to stop the run, and they aren't because we do get some blockage. And Joe Mixon is in with the toss. It's gonna be 24 to 10. So we're up 14, we're up two scores right now. Third and two, and Perfect comes on in and stops CJ Anderson. So guys, we're in a pretty good position here. Late in the third quarter, we are firing out to the left. We're gonna find Tyler Croft on a play action pass. So it's about 315, now 244. So we're starting to grind the clock out a little bit. And uh, this throw here is gonna be a reception to CJ Uzuma. And we get that first down. So about 205 left to go. And we're gonna do another rollout pass complete to AJ Green. And right now, guys, the Ravens defense cannot stop us right now. Andy Dalton up to 293 passing yards for the first time all season. And he's actually gonna take a sack, a big sack. That's Williams getting in for the 11 yard loss. So we have we'll have to settle for the field goal. And look at this. Tyreek Hill again, guys, busts off a tackle and misses tackles. Sean Williams just gives up. He's like, I, there's no way we're not catching Tyree Kill. Tyree Kill, 70-yard touchdown for the Ravens. They're going to actually cut the lead back to 10. We're still up two scores, though, so we want to keep piling it on here, especially when the early parts of the fourth quarter, Joe Mixon getting involved heavily. He's now up over 100 yards. Now we got Kemi Martin involved because we haven't seen him yet. And look at this, guys. Defensive end gives up on Kemi Martin thinking he was down. And he just takes it into the end zone. That's his first career rushing touchdown for Kemi Martin out of North Carolina. Look at this play yet again. He was never down. And the CPU thought he was. And Kemi Martin says, nope, I'm just going to keep on going. So good job by Martin there, the rookie. And we're going to keep going to him as we do get the football back as another field goal hits for the Ravens. They're going to get to 34 to 20 here and we see that Kemi Martin did pick up that first down now he's getting involved in the passing game here so you know late in the fourth quarter up two scores you don't want to be risking injury to Joe Mixon when there's really no point just grind this clock out and he's out now over 300 passing yards and Kemi Martin still in the backfield here third and eight and we are going to fire out there to Joe Mixon on a slant route and guys it was right there Dalton just missed both receivers because it was a first down. If he just hit one of them, it was a first down. It didn't even matter. He threw it right down the middle, but it was just too hot and too hard. And look at this, the next play for the Ravens and Jesse Bates totally missed on the tackle. He whiffed, he didn't even try. He didn't even try to tackle Tyree Kill and Tyree Kill just blew right by him for an 86 yard score. Ravens are coming back. They're down seven guys. So the objective right now Get Baltimore to start calling their timeouts. Get it up past the two-minute warning. Get Baltimore to start calling timeouts, and then you'll win the you'll win the football game because we can just grind out the clock. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's gonna be a good win for us if we can do it though. So here we are sitting here at the two-minute warning, a minute fifty-nine, and look at Joe Mixon has been sprung loose, but he's gonna get caught. He's gonna get caught. That would have been the backbreaker, guys. Going up to 41 to 27 for sure. We're going to go with a little draw play here on second and six. And Mixon is going to pick up that first down. And with a minute 44, John Harbaugh does call that timeout. And you know what, guys? Feeling a little saucy here. Let's just end this thing right now and get that 41 to 27 victory. So Dalton in a five wide set, empty backfield. He's going to find A.J. Green for the touchdown. It's going to be 41 to 27. Got to love it. A.J. Green back his first game back he gets involved he's getting involved a lot gets that touchdown i love it gotta love it so here's the situation though i don't see baltimore winning this game but you know what i gotta show you guys this stuff i gotta show it to you so vontez perfect almost had an interception to basically end the game but he drops it of course he's not that sure-handed and here we go of uh, almost interception off of a deflection off of chris conley not picked off by dark was denard it's gonna be fourth and ten, and they're gonna they're gonna run a play action, pass complete to the rookie Morgan Victorian. We were remember guys, we were scouting him big time. Well, he came through. He came through on that big time first down. And then Nelson Aguilar beats William Jackson on the coverage, and he's actually gonna get a touchdown. And now Baltimore's down seven, so this is kind of a sticky situation here because 32 seconds left. Got to get the onside kick, 
and John Ross does recover it. So, guys, the Bengals are going to win this football game going on the road after a bye week, after a couple really hurtful losses, and we came together. I thought we played, I don't want to say we played good on defense, but we played good enough. I mean, this was an absolute barn burner, guys. Passing was great for us. Rushing yards was insane for us. 238 rushing yards right now. Mixon went off yet again over 100-plus rushing yards. You guys can see the score here, the box score and the statistics. I think we played well. Red zone touchdowns, you had three of them. Red zone percentage was really high. Lamar Jackson, though, 427 yards. So, again, guys, remember how I said he took a big step forward. Well, I wasn't lying. He's got tons of offensive weapons now that he can have at his disposal. Joe Mixon was really – he had about 140 yards up until – that fourth quarter when we just started grinding the clock out. Martavis Bryant had 7 for 77 for a score. John Ross, yet again, over 100 receiving yards and a touchdown. And then Caleb Johnson gave up a sack, and that was it. So other than that, our offensive line played pretty good. McKinney had 10 tackles, attack for a loss. Jake Juan Johnson with that big-time interception. So, again, I felt like our defense did enough. It's still kind of – it's in a weird spot right now. I don't know why we're giving up so many yards. I feel like – the loss of Geno Atkins right now. He, he will be back in a couple weeks. You guys will see the injury report here coming up. But, uh, yeah, we need Geno Atkins. I feel like that's a big piece that's missing from our pass rush and our run-stopping ability. I feel like that's what's really going on here. So you guys can see that Ben Shaw is going to be out for six weeks. Solder's out for five more weeks. And then we got Geno Atkins coming back uh, next week. So we're going to take on the Jaguars in next week. I will show you guys that gameplay. And, you know, we're still in striking distance. The Browns ended up losing to the Steelers last week. So we got some ground to make up. It's going to be a crucial week for us. I'll see you guys on Sunday. As always, Hootay and peace.